Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another episode of your weekly group buy news where I tell you all about the wonderful group buys in our community and telling you how to spend all your money. Let's see who is here today. I'm seeing a cajoler, big chimpo, bacon and tuna, Duncan yo yo, lump space, squid, sumex, lunchbox, who else? Dr. Killswitch and Homie Zone. Thank you guys for joining in and supporting this channel. Just want to take a moment to say thank you to everyone who has subscribed and followed while I'm not streaming. Let's see, long list again today. Upgrade 98, Space Juice, Xanaduke, Jofu Sucks, Justin Bell, Monolith Mono, Oliver Deedon, Andrew M, Sismodium, Joey Martin. <gasps> so many people, thank you so much. Um, Braden Putney, Alessio Spark, V. Red Coral Pencil, Vajta, Hitman 101, Twelfth Cross, Dan McDonald, Kenny Kuhn, Trap Aficionado. Thank you guys so, so much. All right, but before we start, you know, we always have to answer, what is Merlin drinking today? Let me, let me update the command. And unfortunately, it's, it's nothing quite special. I didn't have much time to prepare for the stream today. Here we go. Just your typical orange juice. Right there. Just your typical orange juice. Reason why I didn't have much time to prepare is because quite literally an hour ago I just arrived back from Portland. <laughs> yeah, I've just been home for the last hour. Um had some time to eat some dinner and do my laundry. Let's see. What what was I doing in Portland? I was actually looking at some cats, right? Look at them cats. Um, some people earlier in chat were asking me about it. Um, this this past Saturday, yesterday actually, I went down to look at some Siberian kittens. And I got to figure out which one of the three that I narrowed it down to was the best fit personally for me. And I found like, I've narrowed the three down to two, so it doesn't quite make my decision any easier, but... I still got like, what, I think three more weeks to give the final de decision. Bacon and tuna says exclamation point drunk. Nope. Just OJ today. <laughs> Big Chimpo says waiting on Twitch partner. Yes I am. I've not heard back from Twitch yet. Gateron says hello am I late? You are just on time. I just started like two minutes ago. So yeah. We'll see, we'll see. Alright, yeah, and because I have just arrived home about an hour ago, I am still pretty darn tired. So we will not be doing an audience group by segment this time around. We will just be ending after the starting ones. But regardless, regardless, I did discover last week while I was compiling this entire section is that we actually missed a few group buys. Even like with my research and even with you guys helping me, we still miss group buys. We still miss group buys, so that's actually where I'd like to start today. Here we go. We have a new segment, Miss Group Buys. It doesn't happen all the time, but I figured since we missed, let's see, let me count. We missed four different group buys last week. I figure I should take a few minutes to chat about it. So without further ado, let's start off with our very first one. These are all group buys that have already started, but I just didn't talk about start off with our very first one. This is the paw. It's funny that I missed this because I talked about this in my interest check video. So I'm really surprised that I missed it. <laughs> but here it is, here it is. This is the paw group by. It is a arrow key keyboard and polycarb housing. You have your option of hot swap or soldered. This whole, this whole keyboard if you will, is 150 bucks. And you may be wondering, Merlin, 150 bucks for that? That's so small. Like, why, why would I pay 150 bucks? Well, let's go look at these specs. It comes with a polycarb case. It's got a brass plate and weight. It's even got built-in Bluetooth. USB-C, whoa, what's happening here? What the heck? Sir Bumbus gifting 10 tier 1 subs. Oh my word. Thank you so much again, Sir Bumbus, <laughs> for the sub anniversary. Dude, you are so kind. You are so generous. Let's see. Congratulations to Forest, Freedom, Homie Zone, Frankie, Juan Kenobi, Dustbin, Super Switch, Zoo, Mineral 4X, Sumex, and Cajoler. If you guys have a chance, make sure you tell 
Sir Bumbus, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> oh, wow. All right, well, continuing on as to what I was saying, as to why this particular board is cost 150, you've got Bluetooth, you've got USB-C, RGB underglow, and apparently it comes with a battery. Um, this started this past week and it will be ending on the 23rd. So yeah, I think this started, I think this started on Tuesday or something and I, and I just missed it during our last one. Cajoler says that paw key is like $40 a key. That's true. <laughs> Sir Bump is gifting another tier one sub to Gateron. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah. So um, if you guys watched my interest check video where I featured this, um, I did say that I personally felt that 150 was too much. Despite it having a polycarb case, brass plate and Bluetooth, I still thought this was too much. Like I felt that if I lowered, if, if they lowered the price down to like 80, then it would be worth it. So I'm not personally feeling this board. So once again, if you guys are interested, check that out. Right, next item that I missed is a key set actually. Missed this last week. Here we go. GMK Pride from Kono Store. There we go. This this started on November 3rd and is running till December 4th. Check it out. Love is love. Advocates for LGBTQ rights are making progress around the world but maintains but mountains of work remain. Despite their daunting task and waves of opposition from officials, we have reason to celebrate. There we go. Um, personally, when I look at this, I don't really like the colors. <laughs> you know? Like, I don't like how the set comes together. It doesn't look pretty to me, to be honest. <laughs> okay, this might be very controversial, but they might, but they probably should have rerun Handerbite. You know? <laughs> I think, I think that would have looked better. <laughs> Freedom says, cool cost, just ugly look. Totally agree with that. Cool cost, ugly look. But here, let's look through all of them. Let's see, someone in chat earlier said the renders were too dark. I'm gonna agree with that. Like this one, this one looks hella dark. Let's see, Gateron says, wasn't there gonna be an R2 of Handerbait? Base kit will be 500, oh man. Yeah. That, I guess, you know, um, if you like RGB in switch, but you can't find a board that's RGB in switch, this might be the next best thing for you. But check it out, looks like there's only one kit available? Yeah, that's only one kit available. That's it. That's the only kit that's available. There's no novelty, there's no, you know, extra space bars, it's just this. This is what you get for $142.99. Let's see. Out of the $142.99, is any of it going to... Oh, here we go. A portion of profits will be donated to Point Foundation in support of the cost. There we go. There we go. I feel like they should have put a link here for the Point Foundation. I guess people can just Google it or, or like whatever. Koholified says, I feel like the gay pride flag, the colors are more vibrant. I agree with that. Totally agree with that. These look very dull, if I say so myself. Xenophobia says, missing the bold paragraph. Oh, there we go, yeah. Forgive me, Xenophobia, I've been driving for the last three and a half hours, just got home. All right. So yeah, here we go. If you guys are interested in this set or are interested in supporting their costs, please click that link. Good, and once again, this, this set ends on December 4th. Here we go. The next group bar that we missed was actually 
Another one I covered on my interest check video. GMK Yuri round two. Here we go. Going up on novel keys again. This is one of my favorite sets that have that have ever come out. And since I missed out on GMK Grand Prix, this this is probably a set I will get next. However, I believe I mentioned during my interest check video, I mentioned that this looked really, really close. Though well, this was like a a red accented version of GMK Mizu. Sir Bumbus giving away free subs again? Dude, you are too generous. Congratulations to Anisan, Artifact, The Happy Jack, Pitori Kuru, and Jessup. If, if you guys have a chance, make sure you say thank you to Sir Bumbus. <laughs> Yeah, here we go. This is GMK Yuri round two. Base kit goes for 120. And one of the differences with this set versus R1 is that it now ha has a different base kit. There we go. You got one that's just all light colors. 130 bucks. 130 bucks for the extra base kit. 120 for the usual base kit. For, for the regular base kit, I mean. 40s is 50, Icon mods are 42, Cyrillics are 60, Extra 42, Novelty is 32, Cherry Picker, ha ha ha, bunch of cherries, <laughs> 32 bucks, and Space Bars at $30. Sir Bumbus gifting another dude, dude, thank you so much, man. <laughs> and Scouse Red has used 100 bits, dude. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's take a look at some of these vendors. I believe some of these are newer than the R1 ones. Here you go. You know what, let me look for the Geek Hack page so we can actually see all of these vendors in all their glory. Yuri round two, Geek Hack. There we go, found it. Here you go, I'll go post this in chat as well. There we go. Okay, these are all just the key sets. Um, where are his new renders? Are these new renders? Nope. There we go. It's a new one. <laughs> these are not renders. These are. This is the real thing. <laughs> Let's see. Who redeemed something? Great Arson redeemed. Ask me anything. I just came in, but did you manage to get Vega? If so, what color plate? No, I took an L on it. So I guess I'll just join the group by. Sir Bombus? Oh, dude. 1,500 bits, dude. <laughs> when do I get an emote? Uh, whenever I get around to doing it. <laughs> yeah, I think Vega sold out in under two minutes. And a lot of people had issues like getting to the order page. But if you were so lucky to get it, please please speak up in chat. I I'd like to know. <laughs> we shall not talk about Vegas as never. Oh no. There we go. There's a couple more photos. Um I've seen this set in person and this red that is showing right now is a little too vibrant. That's not, that's not the red. There you go, this one, this one's not so vibrant. This one's good. That's the Sky Data base kit. $10 more than the usual one. Sir Bumbus redeemed hydrate, thank you. And there we go. I'm not too big a fan of the new base kit. I like the darker colored mods over the lighter colored one, so I'll, I'll stick with the base. Look at that. So Bumbus redeemed hydrate again. Here we go. There's one on the 1800. TKL. Another TKL. Yeah, these were the ones we saw on the Geek Hack page. There we go. Alright, well, we, we missed this last week. This one expires on December 14th. So if you're interested, 
at, in GMK Uri, make sure you click that link. The last item that I missed last week is another GMK set. This one is also ending on December 14th. But here we go. This is an, another Mito collaboration. GMK Pixel. For 120 bucks, you can get the base kit. 35 bucks, you can get the decorations kit. And 28 bucks, you can get the space kit. Right there. There we go. I guess if, if you're not a fan of dots, and you're not a fan of blank legends, but still want something really confusing to type on, this might be the set you want to consider. <laughs> Freedom says, we should all redeem Hydrate when Merlin is drinking something alcoholic. Unfortunately, you cannot do that because it's against Twitch Terms of Service. So if you notice, whenever I am drinking alcohol, I have a glass of water that I hydrate from. If you read the hydrate command description, you would know that. <laughs> Right. The pixel kit looks pretty cute, to be honest. Let's see. The space bar kit, I think it's a, it's a little too bright for me. Oh, look. It's a dust mat. Dust mats. They have a teal one. Yellow. Oh, that is so bright. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Uh, uh. <laughs> it's such a bright yellow. And I normally like yellow, but this one's th this one's a little too much. It's too much. <laughs> See, Sir Bob says I'm going to hope y'all liked your subs. <laughs> yeah, if you haven't had a chance to say thank you to, to Sir Bombas yet, make sure you say thank you. Far said I just had a seizure. It's, it's way too bright. Way, way, way too bright. There, good thing there's there's a pink one. See, this one's not too bad. That one's not bad either. But that that that's just too much. Oh my gosh. No more. No more. <laughs> anyway, if you guys are interested in this set, it's currently selling on drop, and you have until December fourteenth to purchase it. So, please click that link before the time is up. There we go. All right, we are now ready for the regular programming of the show. <laughs> Ending group buys, here we go. So if you guys are just joining in, I did that simply because we missed quite a lot last week. And that's even with me, we, with, with me researching and you guys helping me. So I figured, you know, I could use a few minutes just to talk about four different group buys. Let's see, everyone's asking, Better player says, Merlin, were you able to snag a Vega? No, I was not. So yeah, let's talk about ending group buys now. Let's see. This week we've got eight ending group buys and three starting group buys. There we go. The very first ending group buy. There we go. This is a set that all of you guys loved. I wonder if you'll like it all again. We'll see, we'll see. Boom! Another GMK set on, on the Kono store. GMK Rainy Day. Retailing for 135 bucks for the base kit, 40 bucks for the Hangul kit, 30 bucks for the novelties, 30 bucks for space bars, 17 for the dust mat, and another 17 for the other dust mat. There we go. Let's take a look at some of these vendors again. Some of the I'd say this is one of the prettiest key sets that I've seen. Check that all out, guys. Oh, the iron, yes. Looks so good on a blue iron, actually. Ponsar says, I went all in on this one. Nice. The Hankul. Very pretty. <laughs> Yeah, I I really like the color matching here. Like, like, like the mods, like like the colors used for the mods and alphas. 
especially with the accent legends right here, look really good together. I, I'm not a fan of this concrete desk mat, to be honest. I think it looks more abstract than, than concrete, you know? <laughs> I'm not a fan of this desk mat either. I, I feel like none of the desk mats for this kit are great. But the kit itself is awesome. The kit itself is awesome. There we go. Look at these novelties. I'm assuming these two are raindrops. That's probably clouds. That's probably a bridge of sorts. An upside down umbrella. Some kind of a tr tree without leaves and lamppost, I assume. Rice SB says puns on point today. I'm glad you caught it. <laughs> Mina, M Mina Nit says that that mat is beautiful. I I respectfully disagree. <laughs> See, Mina Nit says the lamp one. Okay, you you think this is pretty? I like the color, but I guess I just don't really vibe with the theme. That's why the lamp doesn't... It's not pretty to me. <laughs> Alright, well if you guys are interested in this, you've got until tomorrow to make your purchase. Please click on that link whenever you guys get a chance. Next one is a key set I could not pronounce, so hopefully I can pronounce it properly this time. <laughs> this one is GMK Taeguki. Hopefully I pronounced that correctly, but basically it's 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 the Korean flag. It's selling on TX keyboards. You can get the base kit for 143 bucks. You can get additional alphas for 70. What's this? Um, novelties for 45. Space bars and smaller keys, smaller unused keys for 45. What else is this? Oh, I guess this is an accent kit of sorts for 15 bucks. And Salvin Artisans for 55. Dust mat for 17. Yeah, all, all three are 17, but to be honest, the two that I like are probably going to be this one, the Trigram, and the KBBQ. Those are the two that I like the most. Like, like the set itself, I'm not too big of a fan, to be honest. If I were to just take a glance at this, right, like if I stood at the back of my room here and looked at it, I would have thought this was a USA set. <laughs> Zane says, saw a whole rant about this set on YouTube. Yeah, it's a fairly controversial set, apparently. <laughs> Solji says, you're supposed to boycott the set. I'm supposed to boycott the set? Why? <laughs> Mina Nitz says, it is so Murka. It was also my first thought. Yeah, it's, it's, it's weird. I think the colors are just so... Like, from, from afar, you would think it's a USA set. But once you get closer and you're like, oh, that's some Hangul Legends. Okay, that's probably the Korean flag. <laughs> anyway, if you guys are interested in the set... You've actually got till November 22nd to make this purchase. And believe it or not, those are the only two key sets that are expiring this week. So if you're into key sets, this might be like an easier week for you guys. Once again, the only two key sets that are expiring this week are GMK Rainy Day and GMK Teguki. Out of curiosity, out of these two, which are you guys most interested in? Out of the two expiring key set group eyes, which one is chat most interested in? 
forest sass, one of those dust mats makes me think of Pepsi. Yeah, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> Drew Girl says rainy day. Solji says rainy day as well. I, yeah, I think the last time I talked about rainy day in the in the in this particular show, most people liked rainy day as well. Rainy day, rainy day, rainy day, rainy day, rainy day, rainy day. Everyone's saying rainy day. Shiny robot wants the KBBQ dust mat. Yep, it's a good one. Kajala says GMK saving my money. <laughs> GMK saving my money. I wonder what that set would look like. It's just like empty. <laughs> See, Forest says rainy day looking good, but still passing. Janky Render says Vancouver winter equals rainy day. Mina Net says getting to that point where I have more keep stuff than I can use. SBR says I legit thought that was Pepsi. I was very confused. <laughs> GMK saving my money is made by EBBT. <laughs> All right. Well, just like last time, um, rainy day seems to be the more popular key set out of the ending key sets. Let's say, let's move on to keyboards. The one that is ending on November 19th is the Karina. Karina from the from P3D store. If you guys are interested in a smallish keyboard, 40% keyboard with RGB and rotary encoders, you might want to consider this. It's super cute. Super, super cute, but you know, I don't have much of a use for 40s, but the only reason why I'd buy this is because it's super cute. <laughs> but in terms of usability, probably zero usability for me. This will probably just like look good on my shelf back there. <laughs> Other than that, it's the only reason I would buy it. But for 120, it's kind of a expensive desk ornament. <laughs> See, Kajola says etch a sketch. Yeah, I can see that. Scout says, apart from volume and maybe brightness, what else can you use a rotary for? Um, I guess you could use it to change your RGB patterns. You know, instead of like pressing pressing a key labeled RGB mod, you can just keep changing your patterns every time you turn it. That's one way to do it. See some, I am me, you are you, called this a macro pad. <laughs> I agree with that. XKH41 says still cheaper than the paw. Oof, <laughs> ouch, ouch. That's, that's, that's very true. Just <laughs> look, 120 bucks for that versus 150 for that. So, yeah. <laughs> My gosh. Let's see, let's look at that PCB. Very nice, very nice. And what what is the layout? Apparently the only thing, the only layout thing you can change is the spacebar. You can have either a 6.25U or split spacebar. I think if you're buying a 40%, it's in your best interest to use this space, backspace, and meta layout instead of having one 6.25U. Right, yeah. This one is ending on the 19th. So if you're interested in purchasing this little cute keyboard or macro pad, however you want to call it, please click that link. Next board on my list is... The Slice RGB keyboard for 18,000 yen. And I always forget what the conversion is, so let me do that really quick. 18,000 yen is roughly 172 USD. Oof, pricey. <laughs> Look at that. If you're into split keyboards and want one specifically that has OLEDs on it, and want something staggered, you may want to consider this. 
Though I do have to say, $172 plus shipping? This seems really pricey. Like, not just really pricey, but extremely pricey for what you get. Like, it's it's not even like a metal case, right? It's, it's a sandwich case. Here, any more pictures of it? Any side pictures? Nope. No side pictures. Yeah, it's... And let's see. Group buy ends November 20th, expected ship date February 2021. It's, yeah, 172 bucks for this seems, seems not worth it at all. <laughs> XK says, but it's only $20 more than the paw. For only $20 more, you get, how many extra keys? <laughs> you get, you get six times the keys. <laughs> MechWild says, really not a fan of this layout, especially with the OLEDs just sitting on top so awkwardly. I'm gonna have to agree with you on that. Now, let's see, PCB color. You can choose between blue or white, and you can do via pre-flash. Oh yeah, I'm remembering now. The first time I showed this on stream, I was very concerned about this via pre-flash, because I'm like, shouldn't you just put via on it by default? Because the people who would flash something else on it, like, they wouldn't really have a problem flashing anything else on it, you know? <laughs> so, VIA should just come by default. <laughs> this is the Melody 65. All the way on KBD fans. Check it out. For 239 bucks, you get a 65%, like so. Check it out. Let's see, let's go look at these specs. Um, you can pick either anodized aluminum or a PC case. You can get PCB layout plus play, universal. Universal has RGB underglow, but no RGB in switch. Hot swap has RGB per key, but no underglow. Okay, yeah, that's an important thing to note when you buy this. If you pick the aluminum anodized plate, the color will match the top color pick. Okay, that's good to know. Good to know. Let's see, all these different options. Universal solder PCB, hot swap, yep, yep, yep. Please do not delete the option from your card if you picked one. Okay. This seems to be a little bit more of a complicated buying process. The SBR says, I'm not a big fan of the melody on the bass, maybe just me. I do feel the entire board is a little too blocky for my tastes. Okay, let's get a better photo of it. There we go. There we go. It's a little too blocky for my tastes. Info. Keyboard is 7 degrees. PCB says QMK and VIA compatible. What else? Pretty sure this is a top mount board, if I remember correctly. Oh, there we go. More pictures. That's better. Sir Bump is giving away another sub, dude. To Zane and Aim Nohi13, dude. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There we go. More pictures of the Melody 65 for all of you to try. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a big fan of these, I guess this is what you call chamfered edges. Like, I like it when they're smaller. This one is way too chonky for me. Way too chonky. And I'm not a big fan of having words on a bottom plate like this. I'd rather have some kind of unique design rather, rather than just melody. <laughs> that. There we go, looks like it's a daughter board. PCB with daughter board. There we go. Universal PCB and underglow with underglow RGB. You've got all of these different layouts. You can do split space bar. You can have ISO or ANSI or split backspace. Hot swap. Looks like you don't have too many options. As typical. As typical. Man, 
Okay, so I really, really hope that they don't do this like they did their TFV2. If you guys go on the KBD fans forum, you'll see that we get many people asking and frequently asked questions or even in like questions and help. Hey guys, my board caught on fire. What do I do? And it's like, I think it's too late at that point. <laughs> so hopefully they get the cable correct with this board. Otherwise, we're going to have another round of that. People, people having their boards catch on fire. <laughs> But yeah, if you guys are looking for a 65% with blocker and like this aesthetic, this chonky aesthetic, do consider this board. Here, I'll post the link in chat again, all the way on KBD fans. Santarius tagged me and said, the Kara teaser video hit a teaser for Kara Exhaust and Easter Egg. I'm really excited for TKL Kara, maybe. Cool. Zane says it'll work this time, we promise. <laughs> Time will tell, time will tell. For for example, okay, not to like continue beating on KBD fans, but an, an, another issue I found is people recently, people who have bought the Bella and are just recently getting it are finding that it doesn't work with the Via. So people go, go through this entire round of, oh, it probably doesn't have the Via enabled firmware flashed on it, which is the correct thinking, right? So they go to like, can I use VIA? They download the firmware, they flash it on, plug it into VIA, still doesn't work. The reason being is as of two days ago, the Bella VIA JSON file has not made it into VIA, into the VIA app itself yet. So even though you have the correct firmware, the fact that VIA doesn't have it, they're not gonna be able to, to like communicate at all. So that's that's like the latest issue that I've that like I've been seeing. <laughs> Next up is a board that started yesterday and is ending this coming Saturday. This one was forwarded to me earlier. Here we go. If you're on the KVD fan server, you will probably have already heard of this. This is the Big Dell Extended DIY kit from MechWild. <laughs> for 40 bucks, for 40 bucks, you can get a very long keyboard, like so. Here, this is a better photo, right there. You can get a board called the PD. <laughs> MechWild has used a thousand bits. <laughs> this is the BDE. I'm gonna have to say that I was very delighted when they sent me the links for this. <laughs> See, Rice SB says, very long macro pad. I, I guess you could say it like that, yeah. Here, let's look at all these photos right here. Look at that. It is a pro micro powered board, but I guess you could also use like an Elite C and it'll work just fine. Possibly a Proton C if you take off the speaker, because I think with the Proton C, the speaker will overlap switch 13 here. If I were to get this, I'd probably get it as all one use. I'm not a big fan of having two use anywhere there. Great naming and description. This board is a big deal to us. We hope you relish building it. Excellent. Excellent. And you can get all this for 40 bucks, guys. This is all 40 bucks. <laughs> description. Let's see. This, they started the group by yesterday on November 14th, mainly because it was National Pickle Day and they're ending it this coming Saturday, November 21st. <laughs> yeah, if you guys want to know more information, definitely click on that Geek Hack thread. But this is basically a 30% layout, plus the numpad. You can put the numpad on either side it's ortholinear, you've got an FR4 sandwich case, it's got hot swaps on it, DIY kit, QMK and VIA compatible, and supports QMK compatible LED strips. Here we go. Inside the kit, you will get one PCB, a couple diodes, 41 kale hot swap sockets, one Pro Micro, standoff screws, and rubber feet. Um, rumor has it, rumor has it that they will also send you a vacuum packed pickle. Rumor has it. 
Don't take my word for it. <laughs> Nuclear Monster says, that is a good deal. You mean a good deal. <laughs> Mech Wild Keyboards putting you on the spot to send a vacuum packed pickle. <laughs> no, vacuum sealed pickle. <laughs> It's a big deal. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's see. Mech Wilds, if I'm... I think this might be your first group buy, right? Well, congratulations for opening your first group buy. Hopefully you won't encounter any delays or anything of that sort. <laughs> that don't kiss us. Can't wait for it to be delivered. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I could just make puns like the rest of the show. <laughs> yeah, click click on that link if you would like a nice cheap board that should be fun to build. All right, guys, that's um that is the four keyboards that are expiring this week. Just as a quick recap, the show should be making puns with Mech Merlin. <laughs> All right, the four group buys, the four keyboard group buys that are ex that are ending this week is the Karina 40% right here on P3D Store, followed by the Slice RGB on Bass Keys, followed by the Melody 65 on KBD Fans. Last but not the least, the BDE, also known as the Big Dill Extended on Mech Wild. So out of these four keyboards, what is the audience most interested in? January says the paw. <laughs> yeah, that's true. January says the paw. Rice SB says melody. Nuclear is melody. Xenophobia says BDE is the best idea, but, but gonna skip. It's not a big enough deal to you, Xenophobia. Mechwild says BDE for sure. Dude, you are so biased. <laughs> Nuclear Monster says, I do good with my like four different laser sets. Freedom says BDE. Paw will resell for 1K. Scrooby says, already spent all my money on, on other boards. Xenophobia has too many unbuilt keyboards as it is. Dude, you need to start building them. All right, guys, those were the four, the four keyboards that are ending this week. See, so we do have other stuff ending. Let me get that ready while people keep chatting here. The Ponsar says, too much coming up in December and January. Indeed. Indeed. All right, next up. Next up is not a key set, not a keyboard, but a switch. Here we go, posting that in chat. This is the EV02 switch. So it's another JWK recolor. I think someone last stream was saying, oh, it's so like everything's a JWK recolor that it's no longer exciting. <laughs> but yeah, this is another JWK recolor. Top housing is polycarb. The stem is palm and the bottom housing is nylon. It is a 63.5 gold plated spring, which is, I'm willing to bet it's the same spring in the, in the novel key yellow silks. It's got polished internals. I've never actually seen that advertised, polished internals. <laughs> but here we go, timeline, group buy started on the 4th, but will be ending on the 20th. MOQ is 50K. Unlimited group buy, estimated shipping time 2021. Looks good to me. But yeah, this goes for 550 for a pack of 10. You can buy them from Bespoke Keys here in the US or he does list all his other vendors. There's Key, Key Espresso, Candy Keys, Daily Clack, and Ilum KB. Yeah, if you guys are interested in another JWK recolor. Oh look, he's even got wallpapers. <laughs> 4K wallpapers. It is pretty. It, it is pretty. I'll give him that. <laughs> but yeah, if you guys are interested, interested in the Switch, please kindly click that link before November 20th. 
Next group buy is also a switch and this one is expiring the day after. This one is Tropical Linear Switch from Bolsa Keyboards. Let's see. And you guys guessed it. It's another JWK V color. And get this, it's even the same spring weight. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Polycarb top housing and also a nylon bottom housing. So I guess just if you guys prefer this colorway versus this colorway, it's a, it's like up to you. Which one you guys like better is the one you should buy. Or you could buy both and just like mix it up, right? Xenophobia says, does JWK even offer linear weights besides 63.5? Yes, they do. They do 62 for the alpacas. They do 65 for the mauves. They do 67 for, I think, tangerines. Uh, I'm sure there's a 70G somewhere out there. There's just so many V colors that I can't remember all their names. Oh, there we go. Jolly Eskimo says 78 for H1. There we go. Yeah. People want to match their colored switches to their boards and keycaps. Recolored worked for some people. Are there any good Fanken switches that use JWK housing? I'm sure there are. I think one, one particular mod that I've been seeing is using a tangerine bottom with a cream top. And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> so yeah, you guys have your choice between the EV02, that's red top, white bottom, yellow stem, or the tropical switch, which is a mint green top, light blue bottom, and white stem. And that's it. Those are all the group buys that are ending this week. Here we go, I'll just briefly talk about them once again. GMK Rainy Day on Kono Store, GMK Teguki on TX Keyboards, the Karina on P3D store, Slice RGB on base keys, Melody 65 on KBD fans, the BDE Big Dill Extended on Mech Wild, EV02 on Bespoke Keys, and Tropical Linear on Bolsa Keyboards. It's now time to talk about all the group buys that are starting. <laughs> First item that's starting is GMK Tai T starting on November 20th. If you guys caught my five mechanical keyboard interest checks video, I actually talked about this. This is a set that I'm quite excited about. This one set up by Puede back in April. Look at that base kit. And as you guys can guess, it was inspired by. Thai tea is actually one of my favorite drinks. So I'll most likely purchase this, this kit if, if budget allows. <laughs> Here we go, he's got base. He's got orange, orange alpha, space bars. Nope, those are just old kit renderings. Let's not look at that. In terms of where you can purchase this from, you can get them at pank.co, desk hero, prototypist, my keyboard, daily clack, Z Frontier, and mono K. Here we go. In terms of pricing, this is a $135 base kit board with the additional alphas being 70 and the space bar being 36. There we go. And yeah, I guess he tried his best to color it, to color match it to exactly this photo. Freedom says, Thai tea is a pog drink, but still not feeling this set. I can see why, I can see why. Um, I will have to say like, I said this in my video as well, but I'm not a big fan of these of, of, of these alphas. I like the lighter colored alphas much better. Shiny robots, I should have had black accents for boba, but you don't really put boba in Thai iced tea. That's not a, it's not a standard topping. Like boba's more for like milk tea from like Taiwan, you know? New type says this is like carbon, but but with a sepia filter. <laughs> I can see that. I can see that. I can see that. There we go. Let's look at. Are there any other renders? Yes, there are. There we go. And a nice sixty percent on one of Jay's boards. 
Ooh, I don't like the color for this vendor. Really strange. There we go. That looks much better. Much, much better. See more! Of course I would like to see more. Let's see. Zashu says that brown is a little too dark. I quite like it. I quite like it. Yeah, that one's ugh, bad color there. Ooh, pretty. Yeah, I, I, I really don't like the orange alphas on this. It looks... I feel like it's no longer Tai Chi themed once you do it. Go any more? Yep. Couple more here. Ooh, that's really nice. Silver keyboard. Looks good. Looks pretty good. So so many. So many. What the heck? What's going on here? No, oh, what's that? More vendors? How about some luxurious suede? <laughs> What? <laughs> A suede keyboard? <laughs> so weird. Okay, sure. <laughs> suede keyboard, towel, towel keyboard. <laughs> what? Oh man. It's so weird. That almost looks like grass from afar, or like AstroTurf, or an extra quiet board, a foam board. <laughs> foam board, oh my gosh. Or you prefer an open sound. I, I would actually love to see any, any of these boards become a reality. <laughs> Or if money is no object, maybe a board made out of topaz. <laughs> well, um, at the rate that some of these boards go on the aftermarket, I sometimes I wonder how much money people in this community really have. You know, I feel like you could simulate this with like acrylic or like polycarb. Like orange polycarb, maybe? Maybe would come close to this. Nuclear Monster says that whole one is gross. I know, right? <laughs> See, Thok Thumb says, I subbed because of this new stream you do. Seeing it stream live is going to be rare for my schedule. Well, dude, thank you for taking time to come watch me live here. Let's see, and, and apparently that's it. I would have loved to see more because these, these were funny. <laughs> I would have loved to see a leather keyboard. Louis Vuitton. <laughs> All right, well, if you guys want to find out more information, definitely click that link, find out more information. But this group buy goes live on November 20th. Next keyboard is the KL90, 75% keyboard with left macro column. Right there. Izashu redeemed hydrate. You guys are just wasting all your points. Here we go. I also talked about this during my interest check video. Check it out. It's your regular 75%. Then you've got a macro pad to the left and two rotary knobs on the right and on the left. And I believe when I first talked about this, I was like, I, I already have a hard enough time figuring out what to do with one rotary knob. So two, two is just, weird you know i guess i could do one for brightness and like one for volume let's see isa shoes us etch a sketchboard so it's like okay yeah sure but for like real practical usage don't know what to do about them <laughs> don't know what to do so dj keep yeah sure there we go 
Yeah, I think the last update I saw on their Discord, I think they had prototypes. They were testing out some prototypes. Oh, there we go. There, there's also an option for the OLED right there. Yeah, if, if I get this board, I will definitely go for the OLED. This is like a, it's like a Satisfaction 775 rehash. There we go. Any latest updates on this since I last viewed it? Let's go see. Not, not really. To be honest, most of the information is on his Discord, not so much on, on Geek Hack. So if you guys want to actually find out information, check it out. Here, let's go look at his Imgur album. This, this is the 3D printed proto. Is that a 3D printed knob as well? That looks so weird. Okay, just looking at this picture right here, I'm gonna say that SA looks horrible on this board. It looks absolutely horrible. Zane says, thoughts on the GMK Pro, GMMK Pro. Um, I'm a big fan of it and I really hope that GMMK does a bang up good job on this. I, I I even put like my reservation in. So when it comes, I will definitely do a build stream for people. Xenophobia likes the 3D printed knob. What set is that? I think this is Lime. Yep, it's Lime. You can even read it there on that space bar. Lime. That's a Lime. I think this was a... Let's see. Who ran this set? I think this was a... A, a King Nesty set, if, I, if, I, if, I, if I'm not mistaken. Izashi says, that Starbucks Club, I have a few that look similar that I collect from places I've been. I do the same thing. Bunar says, have you gone over the CRP64 plus B box? No, I have not. January says, I'll wait on problems are flushed out before getting GMMK Pro. It's going to be in stock. Of course. Wiso says, favorite GMK keycap set that's currently in group buy. Um, I believe I talked about it earlier, but it's probably going to be either Yuri or Rainy Day. Those two, since I missed, since I missed out on GMK Grand Prix. Thought Crumb says, sorry, just got here. Where might I find the link to these? Kind of newish to Twitch. The link to, to what? If you're talking about like the group buys that I'm running, that, that, that I'm talking about right now, I usually just, just put, paste them into chat. Um, there's no real way to just like have it generally available, I guess. But here we go. I'll paste this one back in chat. Ponsor, subscribe with Prime. Thank you so much. But Thought Thumbs, um, if you watch these on YouTube, I usually put them in, in like the description section along with the equivalent timestamps and all that. But yeah, there's no real way to like, okay, everyone look at this. Look at these links and you can always access them throughout this stream. You can't do that here. All right. But yeah, if you guys are, are, are interested in this, check out that link. It starts on November 21st, roughly six days from now. Let's see, last but not the least before we finish up the stream, it's a board that I'm supposedly getting to build on stream as a prototype. But here we go. And which is the reason why I'm playing with this one right now. But yeah, here we go. This is the Sagittarius. I should be getting a prototype to build on stream. Hopefully soon, we'll see. We'll see. Look, um, Gondolindrum has talked about Wrist and finger joints degradation caused by rapid movement. 
and the solution that he's come up with this. So hopefully it, it will be good. Okay, man, there's like so much to read through here. He's even got references from like a PhD thesis. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> That's a lot of, lots of words to read through. There we go. PCB in the case, here we go. You can have four rotary knobs on this board. Check it out. <laughs> and as I've already said, I can barely figure out what to do with one, much less two. Imagine four rotary knobs. What in the world would I use them for? <laughs> it's, it's so weird. It's so weird. Well, look, it's your typical gondolidrum styled PCB. It's gonna have an ARM microcontroller. I believe that is a port for a USB-C daughter board. Is it? Or is it just a regular USB? I think it's just a regular USB. It says USB-C connector right here. ESD protection on the USB data lines. Independent inrush and ESD filtering on USB power lines. That I do not understand. Don't know what that means, but it's probably good. <laughs> MCU power isolation and filtering, making this PCB more reliable. Interesting. Sweet RGB lighting. Via compatibility and relief cuts for flex. Very cool. Let's see, Freedom says Mentally and Teha complained that the curve on the alphas was too aggressive. Interesting. Yeah, like I said, this is probably, this board that you're looking at right now is the only board that I've had extended typing practice on like most of my boards are, are like staggered and non-split like this and so far so good so i'm quite curious how i will react to this very very curious like looking at this board right now i feel like i feel like an led or like an oled could have been placed here or something or maybe like another rotary knob for five rotary knobs. <laughs> one right there, one with like a bigger knob. <laughs> yeah, I'm just very, very, very curious as to how this will turn out for me. We'll see, we'll see. God, like the side profile looks really good, but I do have to say off the bat, looking, looking at this board top down, it kind of looks very bulky. It's got like that vintage feel to it, to be honest. Oh, he has so much documentation here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> references and references. Holy cow. Updates. Case redesign. And redesign the case. Okay, there we go. There we go. It got curvier, chunkier, and more awesome. Okay, perfect. Good to see. Good to see. And wow, there's so much to read through in this. Prices and proxies. What's the prices and proxies? Oh, Canon Key says 175 units available. Standard kit, 485 bucks. Extra PCB for 55. Extra gasket set for four. Extra FR4 plate for 30. And extra brass plate for 55 USD. 485 bucks is a lot of money. Holy cow. Dang. Dang, dang, dang. Yeah, here. That definitely looks like a much better looking board. Much better looking than that. <laughs> okay. See, Big Chimple says, I'm imagining all this info presented at a poster session. Yeah, I know, there's just so much info here. This is very, okay. So, what was it? Um, if you remember my group by stream from last week for Cat Napoleonic, I feel like if that was a very thoroughly researched key set, this is a very thoroughly researched keyboard. Like there was just so much to read through on that, that it's like, it's, it's impressive. It's really impressive. <laughs> so here we go. If you guys want to read through all of this, which I suggest you do, 
please click on that link right there. All right. All right, guys. Out of the three group buys that are starting this week that I know of, let's rehash it really quick. GM GMK Thai T, the KL90, and the Sagittarius. Which one are you guys most interested in? <laughs> Big Chimple says the Astro Turf board. <laughs> if only it was a real thing. If only it was a real thing. Ponsor says KL90. Google says Tai T. Xenophobia says none. January says just joined GMK Redline, so none. Bu Bunar says none. KL for sure. Nuclear Monsters is interested in the Sagittarius. Very cool. Tai T, but just the orange alpha says upgrade 98. Monster Mom says none. The towel. It's <laughs> funny. I guess the, I guess the meme boards are getting a lot more a lot more attention. <laughs> These are not real boards. These are just for fun renders. Okay. The only real thing about this is the GMK Tai T set. Izashu says, "Did you cover JTK Night Sakura closing next Friday? I think I'm getting on that." No, I did not because it is closing next Friday. I try to do all of these group by streams about sets that are either starting or ending for this week. By this week, I mean tonight, Sunday evening, all the way till Saturday evening. Yeah, so what? In, in actual date terms, that would be from November 15th to November 21st. Yeah, Life Alert says, keeping it to one week really helps make it manageable. I know, right? Like, if I actually tried to cover, like, more than a week, I'd be here for another hour. <laughs> Pylon7 says, did you cover GMK Think Caps? Did I cover it? I covered it on my Interest Check channel. But yeah, you're right. That That's actually starting on the 16th, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that starts tomorrow as well. Here, since I did cover it already, we'll cover it here too. Here we go. This one starts tomorrow on Dixie Mech. If you guys caught my Friday video, you'll, you guys already know about this set right here. This is an IBM ThinkPad based set. And in my video, I talked about that when, when I first looked at this, it didn't really appeal to me. In fact, I didn't like it at all until I saw this render. This is the render that sold me on this. Unfortunately, I don't have a board that's that has this shade of blue. And I also don't have a TKC 1800 that's, that looks like this. I've got like a Dolch Pack 60, but I don't have an actual case like this. <laughs> yeah. But here, let me post that in chat. There we go. Thanks for reminding me about this. Anyway, like I said earlier, since I just spent the last, what, three and a half hours driving back from Portland and immediately jumped jumped on stream, I am dead tired. <laughs> so I will not be doing an audience group by section tonight. Uh, we will do that next week when I'm a lot more rested up. But for now, that's probably, that's probably it. So as a quick recap, as a quick recap, Group by set are starting. GMK Tai T. KL90. Sagittarius. Those are the three boards. And of course, um, here we go. Think caps. There we go. Before I forget again. <laughs> Let's see, nuclear monsters redeemed hydrate. Last one. There we go. And Mechwad keyboards has used a hundred bits. Thank you so much. You have brought me great delight, MacWild keyboards. <laughs> Static8 says, hope Portland was good to you. It was. Um, as some of you know, I am in the process of securing a Siberian kitty. 
So I went this past this like I went yesterday to figure out which of the three cats that I liked had the best personality for me and so far we've narrowed it down to two kittens and they're so absolutely cute. So here let's see if I can get a photo for you guys. Take both. I wish I could. There we go. There's two little kitties right there. <laughs> so, um, this one's Bunny. Here. That one's Bunny. <laughs> and that one's Bianca. These are the two that I really, really like. So we have to decide. We've got about three weeks left. But once we do, once we do, uh, one of them will be here. One of them will be here. <laughs> so yeah. Um, in terms of personality, this 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 cat right here was super sweet. You could just pick her up and like carry her around anywhere. She would not fuss at all. This one you could only maybe pick up for like a minute or two, but then she would play with you. She'd like chase you around and stuff like that. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see which one of these two kittens I get to take home. <laughs> if I could, I would get both, but yeah, expensive cats. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for joining in. I am going to relax now, relax, maybe eat a little bit more food, have a drink. Who knows? Who knows? But yeah, thank you everyone for joining in. Um, as usual, this stream will go live on YouTube. Tuesday morning and all of these links all of these links will be posted in the de in the description section down below um, By then some of these group buys might have already ended and some might have already started But that's just that's just how it works with posting twitch content on YouTube So yeah, thanks guys for joining in my next stream will be this coming Tuesday where I port another board into QMK So if that is the kind of stuff that interests you tune in then all right, guys, have a good night and have a great start to your week. Goodbye, guys.